Hey guys, welcome to this video where we're going to talk about Dynamo. So I'm going to create a bunch of sheets and sheet names by creating a script on Dynamo. Uh, so first off is I'm going to just open Excel. All right, so with Excel open, I'm just going to create my sheet name and sheet number. I'm just going to start creating my plan. So this will be typical flavor. This can be animation, section, uh, site plan, detail plan, interior plan one. And then I'm just going to populate this to that. And then I create my sheets. So sheet eight, one, two, detail plan. And this would be I one zero one. I stands for interiors. All right, so bring this down as well. All right, so we have our sheets. I'm just going to save this. All right, so once here, I'm just going to open Revit. I'm going to start a new project. All right, so as you can see on the right, we just have zero sheets, but I think we do have a sheet family. So if you go to families, check on sheets, go to annotation symbols. Yeah, so if you go to annotation symbol, you see that we have an A1 metric sheet. So now what we can do is open Dynamo. So go to manage, click on Dynamo. All right, so I'm going to create a new script. So I'm going to search for a few nodes now. File path and file from path. And now I'm just going to select my sheet and connect this to file from path. So now we need to read the data from this Excel sheet. So we can just go to read excel yeah so data dot import excel so i'm just going to plug this here to file now before i plug anymore i'm just going to change the mode to manual because i don't want i don't want the nodes to keep running all the time and sheet name is going to be book one or sheet one yeah sheet one so sheet one is a sheet name which is this sheets here so it's sheet one where the data is loaded so sheet one is going to go into sheet name and if you run this you can see that we have our list so now what we need to do is i don't want to create a sheet with the sheet number name and number so i need to remove this from the list and also transform the list so i could use this node called drop items and i could plug this in here so this is at the zero index right so sheet name and sheet number is at the zero index so i can drop zero so I'm just going to create a code block. I double click on the canvas to create a code block. I'm going to type in the index, which is zero and then plug this in into the amount. So now if I run again and you check the list, let's just change this to one. Yeah. So in this case, we, it was at the first index. I'm not really sure why that was. But generally in Dynamo, it works from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But in case it doesn't work, you can just change the numbers and then you can see that it works. So we have our details. And now I need to transform this list, transpose that is. So what transpose does is since you have your rows and then you have your columns. So transpose basically flips the two. So your rows becomes the columns and the columns becomes the rows. So let's just try transpose list to list. Click on run again. Yeah, so now you can see that all these come into one category and we can then take each of these lists and plug it in into our create sheets. Now I need to take only the zero list and call that the sheet name and this the first list will be would be the sheet numbers. So I could use uh, get item from index item at index. So I need to get all the items at the zero index and then at the one index. So I'm going to plug this into a list. I'm going to create a code block zero comma zero semicolon. Plug this in into index and run. So now you can see that we have all our flow plans in place. And similarly, I'm just going to make a copy of this control and then copy and make a copy of the code block. Or you can just create another node within this code block and plug this in to this index. Now, if I run this, you can see that we have our sheet numbers and our sheet names. All right, with this data, now I can create my sheets. So I'm just going to click on create sheet, search for create sheet, that is. So we have this node by name, number, title, block, and view. So let's click on second node which is views all right so first things first uh, so this is going to be our sheet name so plug this in into sheet name this is our sheet number you also need to select the title block family so i'm going to search for family types and select the a1 metric family all right plug this into title block you also need to give one view uh, it works only if you have all four connected so i'm just going to search for views and give one view i'll be doing a future video on how to create views on all sheets so it's a little more complicated than just creating sheets. So I'm going to place level one on views. So yeah, we've pretty much finished the script. Now we can 
run and see how it works. So let me just move this to the side. Uh, as you can see, there's no sheets, right? So once you click on run, it populates with all your sheets. So A1 comes with the view. Uh, the other ones don't come. But in the future videos, I will definitely be showing you guys how to create sheets with the views embedded within them. So I hope you learned how to create uh, import data from Excel and then create sheets. Pretty easy if you ask me. You just need to learn. You need to just use a bunch of lists and use them the right way and then you can do wonders with Dynamo. So, so thanks for tuning in for this short video. I hope you learned something out of it. If you like my videos and you want more of such videos, please do like and subscribe. I try to make videos on a daily basis and help you guys out in your Revit journey and Dynamo journey as well. Thanks for tuning in. This is your host, Kirby, signing off. Ciao.